Hi everyone and welcome to the third in the series of the LSN's Ask the Expert videos. I'm Anita Wallace, Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network, and I'm delighted today to introduce you to the LSN's nurse advisor, Denise Hardy, who runs a very busy practice in uh, Kendall, and uh, she's very, very experienced. So I'm delighted that she's agreed to come on with us and uh, we'll get going on the questions. So Denise, does uh, low level laser therapy help with lymphedema? L low level laser is something that I would use, I call it an adjunct to the normal treatments that we use in clinic. So as you will know, the, the standard treatments offered um, for most patients in, include your compression, whether that be bandaging um, or compression garments. We have skin care, we have exercise, and sometimes we use uh, lymph drainage. Um, low level laser is one of those things that I tend to use if I'm going to use it in intensive treatment when I'm seeing somebody uh, for bandaging. So somebody who's got um, a moderate to severe lymphedema where we need to uh, work with our patients over a, a number of weeks to try and get the swelling down to a more manageable level. And that's when I might introduce the low level laser uh, therapy. It's a safe device to use in clinic. And I think more and more clinics um, are using them. A lot of research was done um, around them in Australia, particularly for breast cancer patients. And it was found um, to, to actually reduce sort of fibrotic tissue that occurred um, in and around the axilla or around scar tissue. Um, and as a result, um, they found that by using the, the, the low level laser that the lymph flow was better um, and as a result of that of course then the the swelling uh, reduced Absolutely. too yes well, i think it's something that's not used as a standalone um, however um, it can also be used to help uh, with pain as i mentioned on a previous question and um, other uh, clinics have used it to help promote mm. wounds uh, healing um, and tissue repair. So for those who've got edema and for example, a leg ulcer, um, we can use them um, in the clinical setting then. And we have big clinical devices that we use for that. Um, but for people um, who I think may benefit from it on a, on a longer term basis, we are lucky enough in our clinic because um, I plow a lot of our funds back into um, the clinic itself. And so we have handheld lasers, which I don't know whether you can see this, but um, this is a handheld laser that I might loan to a patient once I've obviously shown them how to use it. And this will um, deliver very, con not, not concentrated levels, but specific levels in certain areas where I want them to do it. Um, and that means they can carry on that type of treatment at home, um, which over a period of time, again, in, in conjunction with their other treatments can, can really help. Mm. So this is one of a number of, of different um, electronic devices that, that we use in our clinic here. Um, others being, um, as I've already mentioned, a TENS machine um, um, and others, um, a lymphotouch machine, often known as PhysioTouch, which is a sort of negative suction type of device, which I find really useful on scar tissue. Um, and then there's deep oscillation. Um, again, that's a very popular type of treatment that again can be um, used um, in a patient's home. So it's one of many um, devices that can be used alongside the more conservative treatments um, and has you know, good, good results um, according to literature anyway. But I think that the literature isn't robust. There's not a huge amount of it. No, no. And I think that's one of the reasons why perhaps it's not widely used um, around um, the UK at the minute, but it is available in, in a lot of clinics now. Yeah. All right, Denise, thank you very much. Thank you.